Alright. Welcome back. I'm playing another game of Mahjong. I'm playing a, east, a whole east-south round this game, so you'll see basically a whole... It's called a Han Chan, or a half game. Um, it's eight mini-games at, at, the, at the minimum. Um, I'm not going to try to explain the rules too hard. I'm just going to talk about stuff here. You know, if you ever... If anything interesting comes up about the rule set, maybe I'll explain a little bit more. I should have kept that one. You never know. But, got some early action here. My opponent pawns the green dragons, meaning that uh, they drew in a copy. I have three south wind Doras, because, you know, the next tile after the east wind Dora is the south wind. So now I'm looking at three Han in my hand already. So this is actually a, like an insane hand. Um, so I just kind of have to hope I, I draw into the right tiles. For shapes, here's one shape, two shape, three shape, four shape, five shape. I can kind of play around, I, you know, a couple of these are pairs. Kind of want to keep that six, because you can just accept more tiles. I have a lot. Yeah, I'm going to take the six. Just because, like, what? I'm only going to one and two, but now I can have, like, a few other options with this here. I don't want that. But yeah, so I just kind of have to play this game out. Yeah, see, five, six, seven. Um, looks like I just dumped that six I just picked up. Mm, damn, then maybe I should have kept the one. Whatever. I may end up waiting on the two as my last tile here. To get in the ten pie, I either need a two, discard the seven, and then I'll have I'll be waiting on the five and eight. Or if I draw a six, I can discard this. Damn, now, now it makes me regret. Damn, I should have just thrown this entire shape away. I'm not a huge fan of the 1-3. Because to get a 1-3, a 1-2-3, like, you're always waiting on one tile, right? Like, for example, when you look at, when you look at a shape like an 8-7, you you're waiting on two tiles. You can get a 6 or a 9 to complete the... Oh, damn, my monster hand went away. Well, wow. Just 1,000 points. Cool. That's how it goes, though. He just hadn't been done. Like I said, the green dragon is what propelled him into finishing that hand. Ooh, I'm looking at a pure double sequence. So three, four, five, three, four, five. I need a second four to complete that. An east wind, a pair of nines, and then an outside, and then a, and then I need a two or a two or a five. Ideally, I draw. Not that. Um, Ideally, I draw a 2 or a 5, discard this 9, and then I can discard my red dragon, get my red 5, wait on the 4, or I draw a 4, discard the 9, wait on the 9, and the east wins. But my opponent's going crazy with his discards here. He's got what it, you know, looks like a half flush of character suit, because he hasn't discarded any of those yet. Hmm, I don't want that. Oh, perfect. So now... I guess I throw the red dragon. Yeah. Now I throw the red dragon. Oh my god, look at this dude's hand. Oh, but I can call the Ricci. I can solo wait on the 3 or solo wait on the 8. I think I'm going to toss this. Solo wait on the 3 for now. And if the shape gets better... This is a 7 pairs hand, actually. Cause yeah, one, two, three, four, five, six pairs. I have six pairs in my hand. Oh my god, another con this guy's going nuts. This is what this dude's insane. Look at this. I wonder what he's looking for for his last tile. He's got to be like super close. I see now I can wait on the nine and east wind. I mean, I am gonna discard that four. It probably deal me in. No. So this is a, now I'm waiting on two tiles. One of them being nine that's already been discarded. So that'll incentivize people to discard another one. But if I get the east wind, then I'm big chilling. I'm the dealer, so I... I mean, realistically, I get... I don't know. I won't call it. I want to be able to fold, I think, in case I draw a dangerous tile. Because look at this. This is nonsense, right? This is like all honors... Fucking full outside hand. Okay, so he is looking for reds. Um, 
You know, I'm gonna do the tricky thing and discard this, the tile that I just drew out of my hand so that it looks like I picked up a new tile. I don't know how much people pay attention to that. But basically, you can see this guy's waiting on a, uh, a one tile wait up here. So he has to, he's basically forced to drop anything he draws. So if he draws a nine, like, it's coming in my hand, you know? So I'm definitely gonna, like, it'll be an easy victory for me. Alright, I can't really see my computer screen, so you'll have to let me know if I can win. The, the cat I have is just standing in front of it. Oh, yikes, the, re the five Dora. Shocked it didn't deal in over here, but... I'm really, what I'm hoping with this is if I, if I actually win this hand, which now this is probably a loss. Huge pause. No, because there are three Dora now because of this dude's cons. So now that, uh, if I win, I they flip the three Aura so I can look at the, and get more Dora underneath, but... Interesting, he changed his weight. So he was waiting on one tile and pushed to another. Maybe now he's waiting on this, but only a ch oh, I assume on my own tile. What a day. Cool. That was my weaker of my two outs. If I got the east wind, that was a ton of points. But see here, my two aura. See, look at that. Hanemon. It would have been a, um, it would have been a Baimon had I drawn the east wind, but so it goes. Still in first. So that, you know, because I am the dealer. So that means that I, all my points are one and a half times. So I get one and a half times as many points on winning a hand. So I'm incentivized to always try to win hands as fast as possible. That one, um, I, I don't know. I, I, I could have played it better, but I did win. So it's like, it's hard for me to complain. I kind of want to go back and see what your boy was looking at here, which if you don't know, this guy's got the Akagi character background uh, or character. And that's from the anime. Akagi, and um, if you're learning, if you want to learn how to play uh, Mahjong, I would recommend not watching, well, I would recommend this anime, it's excellent, but, um, it's all in Japanese, so you, you can't, you gotta, you can't, like, learn it from watching the TV show, you can get the gist of it, and you can kind of get, like, the, uh, like, the, what's happening in the show, but, like, you can't, as far as the games go, you, you'll have a hard time discerning <laughs> what's, what's happening so and that's actually what kind of caused me to start playing uh, and learn the game in the first place is because of how confusing Akagi was so definitely like well worth watching what am I looking at here well it looks like my one peens or my one of circles are now closed off to the public so I have the only two left because uh, they there are four of each tile if you don't know um, so I only have two left but now I'm just chilling. So do I want this in my hand? I don't think so. Okay, that's good. That's that's a red five. I have too many pairs, so I'm gonna go ahead and drop this. Um, realistically, what would I really what would I really love? I would love to see a three of characters. Um, yeah, I have too many pairs. I can't hold on to that. Um. I would love to see a three characters. And I may end up waiting on it. Because if I get a... I mean, this eight's doing nothing, so I'm discarding this eight. But as for shapes, I have one here. Here's a pair. Oh, a third one. Okay, so I am good to discard the eight because it sues you to the five. Which means that, like, if they have a six, seven shape in their hand, they cannot win. Because if either of your weights are already thrown, like, if you've thrown one of your possible winning tiles, you can no longer win the game. And that's called Fur Attempt. Um, one's gonna have all the ones, so I assume the two is the two is safe. Could be waiting on the three, four, but I have two of the fours as well, so. Um, I'm out here solo waiting on the fucking three of characters. Uh, suppose I can throw this. It's kind of close to that four. I think I'm gonna... Fold. You really do hate to see it. You hate to see the fold, but um, for what though? Like, don't reach Dora. Like, I don't know. All right, I threw an eight. Um, only two Han. It's like no points. Like, uh, it's better for me just to kind of let this guy like try to dodge dealing into this dude's hand um, as much as possible. Great. Now I have two Dora. 
And that's frustrating. But what is this guy going for? This is insane. I'm I'm flabbergasted. I definitely am gonna fold here. Oh, dude. This is just like this is nonsense if I pick this up, so I'm not going to. It's what I would call a complete nonsense play. Damn, I should have picked it up. Because now well if one comes out, if another one comes out, I just go for the the all triplets. Oh my god. Look at this. One triplet, two triplet. I can get a third triplet here. I somehow have to create a fourth triplet, but enough of these tiles have been discarded where I probably... Oh, is the eight safe? Reasonably. I would love to... Oh, what did he end up getting? Oh, he needed the two to win. Oh, so I would have never... I could have dealt in. Yes, he had an all triplet, so I would have never won my all triplets. That's fine, though. At least I didn't deal in. I was the dealer, so I actually paid. So while at the dealer's seat, if you win, you win one and a half times. If you have to pay via like someone drawing their own tile like that. All right, damn. I have the window open, so there's a very loud car that drove by. You'll probably hear it. But anyway, so the dealer has to... In the case of someone drawing a tile to win, like that would just happen in that game, the dealer pays out one and a half times. So... There's a little bit of risk to it, but like you pretty much always like if you can like do as many dealer turns in a row. What you're kind of looking at here is a handful of garbage. Um, that was that like seven was a pretty effective tile, but like I'm looking at a lot of shapes that aren't good. Um, yeah, but I don't know. Let's look at some of my other opponents here. Okay, so they're pretty decent, right? They haven't only got last place once in the last 10 games. I don't really want this green dragon. Um, they've got last three game, three of the last four. This is my other, because of my second account, this is the account that's on my accordion computer. Um, so I don't know. Yeah, whatever. My uh, my main account's on my phone. I'm like a, I'm a full rank ahead. Okay, do I try to win? I think I do. No, I think I think I want to leave space for myself to fold. I think it's kind of what I'm going to go for because I mean this hand's not worth very much already, so it's like yeah, you know, White Dragon Dora. Oh, the song kind of sucks. Speaking of Akagi, we're listening to the Akagi soundtrack. Um, I find that it's. I don't know if it's royalty free or not, so don't report me to the, to the fucking government, but um, I know that uh, it's good to listen to when you play, because it's, you know, it's what they play in the show. That's pretty entertaining. And like the first one, number, I might just loop the third song in this track, because it's a slapper. But what am I looking at here? Um, that's a really good top one. I need a pair somewhere. Um, and it's gonna probably be my north wind, simply because I am the north wind seat, so, um, people are more likely gonna discard it, because they won't need it, right? Like, I'm the only one who can use the north wind in any way. Um, I have two door indicators, that's pretty slick. Uh, basically, I kinda maybe need to discard one, to be on the three-sided weight, the two, five, eight weight. Hold on to that tile. Yeah, I knew someone was going to use that tile because, well, that, damn, he used it the other way. I thought he was going to try to do a 5, 6, 7, the 7 being the Dora. But, um, okay, so now now I just wait, solo wait on the, the North Wind. Oh, and it came. I'm so fucking good at this game. Owned. Well, that's okay. It's 2,000 points. Like I said, it was, you know, that's why I didn't call earlier, because I figured, um, why, why push for such a cheap hand? I guess it's kind of like, it's early in the game still. It's the first half. Um, hot tip I learned from the guy I watch on YouTube, play Mahjong. If you have a one and a four, you can ditch the one because you have the same weights regardless if you draw a two or a three. Uh, but the four can be improved with a five where the one cannot. 
Um, I don't know. What to, I don't know what to do. Uh, this is just be another cheap hand. I'm just moving the game along, I guess. As someone who has all the points, it is advantageous for me to try to win fast. So I just kind of don't have to get too special about. That's why I took this, these east wins right away. Um, the east wins uh, in the east round. You can see that's east four. Um, give you a free Han. They give you a Yaku, so you can always finish a hand if you have the. It's called what's called the round win. So that's pretty good. You know, I am gonna go ahead and change to this one. This is a lot. Like the song is chill as hell. Um, but yeah, so I grabbed the east wins, so no, I can just like I can win quickly because a lot of my tiles are really close. So. Depending on what my opponents throw, uh, I can win. Okay, so we're looking at six, seven, seven, eight. Um, that's looking like an extra tile. If I have the option to take either a four or a seven, I do, and that'll put me in a seven or an eight or a five weight. Um, if I grab either any of these tiles first, I grab an eight. Um, yeah. Oh, son of a bitch. That's not a red five, though. All right, you suppose I can throw this? I don't really have a safer option. If I deal in, I deal in. That's a demon wait. A waiting on a two after you've already discarded a one is like, bro. So you had a, you had a one, one, three, and you discarded the one out of that? Like, you're, you're what a joke. Okay, um, cool. So now I'm in Tempai, uh, waiting on the five and the eight. Obviously, the five is a safe tile for the guy who reached. Um, so, people are gonna want to deal either the five or the eight simply because. <sighs> okay, well, it looks like I have to big fold. So that sucks. No, I would have won the next tile. Well, shit. You know, I talked a big game, but like I said, you, sometimes you have to big fold. And you, you know, let me know if you would have folded here. Uh, I just in good conscience could not discard this because I'm so far ahead. So I just want to discard safe tiles. But if I did that, why did I pwn the? This is stupid. All right, hold on. At least I can discard these boys now. Yeah, I'm gonna fold my tiles. It's the it's the only thing I can do. I did get another safe one. I got this four. Nine is safe. What I mean by safe is dealt, so I guess the fundamental part of this game that you might understand is what is a Ricci? Um, a Ricci is a declaration that you are not changing your hand for the rest of the game. Um, and if you do, you get a free Yaku and a free Han. So it's like you can win with any hand if you if you reach, if you Ricci, right? Um, but you, you have to you know denotate it by putting your tile sideways. So basically, every tile played after this is what's called a, a safe tile. Oh, bitch. See, he what? Oh, he was solo waiting on the eight. Damn, I could have thrown that five and one. Well, that's okay. I, If he was a good player, he'd be waiting on a six, seven, and then I would have dealt him with the five. So I guess I did the right play against someone who's good. <laughs> um, that doesn't really mean anything. Much like the one and four shape interaction, the nine and six, the nine is an extra tile. Because if you draw an eight or a seven, then you have to wait on the other one. But then, of course, the shape can be expanded on by a five. Um, that's fire. I love to see a red five. So I have a three, four, five, six, seven shape. Um, if I grab a two or an eight, that's what the, that is what I want to see. Um, I think... this is going to be my pair. This is going to be a shape one shape, two shape, three, four. I think I do throw this one. All right. Because I may end up having to make a shape with the six of uh, bamboo here. Um, or if I can grab an eight, then I can, an eight of characters. I think, it, I think um, if I make another shape, I discard this one. If I grab a two, I for sure discard this one. And then I'm in a crazy tempi for 
I don't know. That would be my best tile, though, because... Oh, I should be holding on to those. Because oh, I'm the south player in the south round. Hmm. Well, I don't have a safe tile to play against this guy. I do. It's my one. Yeah. So basically, once again, on my discussion for safe tiles, every tile played after this one, so for example, this eight is going to be safe because he didn't win, right? He didn't declare victory. And every tile in your opponent's pond or discard pile is also safe. So, um, damn, that hurts, but that's okay. Uh, is also safe simply because they uh, they didn't win on it. So this guy this guy discarded an eight when he declared his Richie, meaning he probably has something around there. So I can't discard my six. I think my safe tile, my safest tile, perhaps this three. This is good to see. Um, this gives me a free tile to discard. Uh, three, four, five, five, six, seven. Don't deal me in. Perfect. Now I deal with seven of characters. I'm just kind of... Ooh. That was perfect. I couldn't have asked for a better discard there. Okay, do I declare Ricci? I think I don't. But I... Oh, damn. I knew that was going to happen. I should have played it safe. Well, whatever. Oof, this is a big hand. Yeah. Damn. I went first to less farther in first, but I should have played it safe. I was so far ahead. That was like really the only thing that could have screwed me over. But so it goes. Um, Dora is the red dragon, so we're going to try to make that happen. Um, I hate when the Dora is, the, is an honor tile like this, because it's like... I'm not, I mean, I'm not lucky enough to draw these from the, the, the wall. So yeah, see, there's one there. But if I strategically use it as a pair, it can be good. But my hand is looking way too fast for that. Because I have a red five here, a red five here, two east winds. Like, I might, once again, east wind, east player. So that's super advantageous for me. Uh, I think, I don't want that tile. I do want that tile though. Yeah, so th that basically kills the red dragon because now you can only wait on a pair. You cannot get no longer get three of a kind. So as a shape, it's only worthwhile as a pair. So uh, unless you know we go about oh my fucking god, wow. Okay. Wild. Well, he's, he, he, wait, he's got a five. Um Cool. Suji to the five. Um, I, I can't imagine he's waiting on that either, but... Oh my god, this guy's going crazy on my right here. He's really trying to push a win as fast as he can. He's going to end up dealing in. Well, knowing me, I'll probably get really greedy and end up dealing in, but we'll see. Aw, oh, damn. I would have had two red dragons, so whatever. It's fine. What could I have done with two red dragons? nothing oh see i told you damn i knew i was gonna deal with that one i literally called it well that's fine i actually appreciate that a lot simply because now uh i can no longer get i mean i can get last but it's like way harder now um five six seven pair okay south and west red dragon <sighs> this is not a terrible hand I actually quite appreciate a hand like this sometimes. Oh my gosh. When my turn gets skipped, I just like... My brain just breaks a little bit. I just hate it so much. I hate when my turn gets skipped. Because it's like... On average, players get in the tempi or what's called one away. Like one away from winning the game. Uh, like 10, 10 discards in. So when you take away one of my discards, it's like... I'm 10% behind. That's, oh, that's set. Oh, poor dude discarded two freaking East Winds back to back. That sucks. That was the East player. It means he, he discarded one, drew one, dropped one. Um, I'm going to take this tile. I'm going to try to win fast here. The problem is, is I need another shape. I have one, two, three, four shapes. So I kind of, that was a premature one. 
but if I get a five, I can discard the two. I don't know. There's a lot of shit going on here. Um, whatever. I'm going hog wild with it. If I end up solo waiting on something, um, this really does indicate that I have only circle tiles. So maybe people will be a little more haphazard with their discards. But the moment I discard something else, it's like, or the moment I. You know, I use something else. See, now I'm in Tempai for the five, which, you know, we'll see if some bozo discards a five of circles, but I, I would, wow. Why would you do that? Look at my discards. Why would you discard the red five? You're so stupid. Okay. Yeah, not in a thousand years would I ever discard the red five. That was insane. All right, well, I guess I can't complain. We absolutely take those. I understand you're in last place, bro. But you, you can't do that. Look, I mean, come on. Just insane. Whatever. Oh my gosh. Got some honor tiles here. Um, this is terrible. This, this, what is, this is nonsense right here. I can't... Like, the 1 doesn't connect to the 5. doesn't connect to the 8. The 3 and the 7 don't connect. Like, this is just nonsense. The 8 and the 3, like, my hand is in shambles. This is what's... <laughs> this is what I'm going to call here a... Uh, a loss, or like a, uh, not a loss, but a, just a hand I'm probably not going to be able to finish. Simply on the, like, how far away I am from completing my hand. Um, dang, I really hope I clicked the record button on this. I did. Okay, do I want this south wind? Like I said, I'm not close, so I'm going to say no, I, I don't. Some other guy will probably drop one later. Ouch. Um, what do I discard here? Perfect. I do have a... Basically, the only thing I need to do to avoid losing now... Obviously, if he... If someone deals in... One of these two dudes deal into him... And he's got this just, like, cracker jack of a hand here... And it's just, like, a bunch of points... Like, I can't... I can't do anything about that, really. Um, but the only thing I can control, so like if that happens, then like I lost, and I, then I lost on that one round where I dealt in when I didn't need to, um, when I was being greedy. But this game was designed to be greedy, I think. Um, it definitely rewards it sometimes. I mean, it's it's heavily RNG based. Uh, if you have lots of Dora, oh no, I think he won. I think that's it, because he got the he got a dealer. Dealer Sumo, so this is probably a Mongon, 12,000 points. Yeah, end of the game. So he got more points than me uh, because he's in first at the end and he's the dealer he won, but that's okay. Second place is just as good. Um, I mean, not just as good. I get even half the points, right? But well worth it. I guess I'm almost up to the next one. But yeah, so that was uh, a Hanchan or an East South. Um, did all right. I guess we go into the log and kind of look and see, like, kind of review some of our plays, maybe some of the plays of others. So, like, this guy, good old Akagi, he dealt in. What did he have? So, your boy's in Tenpai. I think, you know, he's got one, two, three, four, five. He has six shapes in his hand. He completes the... So, what do I discard from this hand? Um... To the 2 3 almost certainly, right? I mean, either over here, because your, your 1 is gone. There are simply more. I mean, there's a 1 gone here, too. I don't know. What did you discard? The 3. Yeah, so you discarded the wrong set of 2 3. Um, yeah, I, I would discard the these ones. I don't know why. I can't really explain to you why, but what is, you know, what is Green Dragon, right? I mean, like, I have, like, nothing in this hand. Um,. Of course, you saw me play that one live. Uh, this is the guy that won it. What did he have in his hand? Oh, yeah. How did he get so many points? Red Dragon, all, oh, all triplets. Yeah. So that's one, two, three. Yeah. Behind 40 foo for all the triplets. Yeah. Um. Not bad. Uh, 
And then, of course, you saw me win this one. If you're my opponent... Yeah. Yeah, you look at this guy. Two d he's on the do he's on the weight for the East Wind and the Dora. Um, that's a freaking amazing weight. He doesn't have either of them. He's got both. Of your homeboy over here has got your one block, of course. And then I probably have... I have a Dora. Um... This guy doesn't. So where's the last one you under? Um, is it in the dead wall even? Oh no, here it is. So if we had made it this far, maybe you would have gotten it, right? Um, but anyway, yeah, you deal into my hand, which is super unfortunate. But I knew this north wind was coming, right? Like it had to have. Some, and there's one at the bottom of the wall too. But like, I was the only one who had seen one. Like I had both of. Or I was solo waiting on one. So. I think I was solo waiting on one. Yeah, and there's none on the none on the table. Yeah, it was coming my way for sure. Uh, anyway, so what about this one? Who deals into my hand on this one? Oh, this is the whack one with the with the red five. I think where I just lost my mind. No. Let's see, three, four, five, six, seven. One shape, two shape. You got another shape here. Oh, this two is extra, so you discard it, and that's it. Damn, that sucks. Well, it doesn't even matter. Wait, did I win? No, I dealt in this, didn't I? Yeah, I did. This was so greedy of me. Like, why? You know, so greedy of me. But, yeah. I should not have done that. This actually lost me the game. If I had avoided the Ipatsu, I don't know. Pure straight, red five, Dora Dora. Damn. This makes a boy sad. What do I, what should I have actually done in this position? Um, thrown this. Yeah. Thrown this. I got, there's two people in fucking Tempai. I should have just folded. I mean, but look at my hand. So I have Adora. I'm not that dealer. So it's like one, two Han. All simples. You know, three Han. Ricci. You know, maybe, maybe this hand gets somewhere, but I definitely should have just folded. Um, just got too greedy. All right, you deal in again. This guy dealt in a ton of times. Um, oh, he's pinned himself, but of course, cannot win the hand. So he just pissed around, did all that, and then lost. Very deserved. Um, waiting on the one and the four. Yeah. You should not have claimed all these tiles. I understand. Like, the, you're in... Yeah, you're not last in that position. You don't need to do that. Um, of course, this is the insane one. Uh, yeah, what does this guy draw? I'm waiting on the red five. Or, I'm waiting on a five. He's got just a red five in the hand. Two, two, four, five, six, six, seven. Oh, he's not in ten pie either. Well, no, he is, because he adds this to here. And now he's in Tempai, he throws the red five, and he just, I just sit and wait and, and baffle me. You should have thrown this way earlier. When did you draw it? Like, if you can't, I know it's hard to give away a thousand points, basically, you know, or a Han, but like, you need, oh, you had it from since the beginning of the game, dude, you need, yeah, dude, you're not getting closer. It, like, I understand it's the seventh turn, but you gotta get rid of it here. You feel me? Like, you can see it's not work unless you really are gonna make it work, right? You know, unless you really think you're gonna convert the red dragon and the six into a shape. I don't know. Um, so what's your next hand? Yeah, it's literally this. No, you get another eight. See huge mistake that's when you discard here because you can't make a shape with this now you're not trying to make a shape with it yeah that was all right cool well i hope you enjoyed this game uh anyway i finished i finished third which is not bad um let it be known anyway enjoy your afternoon peace